Hi there, guys, and welcome to Trains, another Trains, another Trains from 2018 video. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, I'm starting this video a bit differently because I need this to be recorded as soon as we get into the sim. This is a scenario on Devon Rails uh, by Super Alps that he did for a stream. And it, just one bit was brilliant. Here you go. Hello, driver. Today you will be driving the 1122 Great Western Railway service to Exmouth from Exeter Central. <laughs> we will be calling at Poles, Lou Bridge, Digby, and Soton, Newcourt, Topsham, Limpstone Village, and Exmouth. Your traction for this run will be two class 143 units in the lovely new GWR livery. Please release the doors here. <laughs> it's just one of those really stupidly super helps things for him to do uh, this also brings me to Devon Rails which is a wonderful route created by the same guys who did the Nuki Par line which I showed you the other day um, this was a scenario that Albie knocked up I think it was his first serious scenario that I did from the stream uh, on the stream and this bit just covers the Avocet line, the Avocet line. And the Avocet line is a busy, thriving and much loved railway that runs at 9.5 miles along the eastern side of Devon's X Valley, X Estuary, from the city of Exeter to the seaside resort of Exmouth. It's scenic but also a vital resource on daily travel, work, school and college and shopping. So it goes from Exeter St David, Exeter Central, St James Park, uh, Pulso Bridge, Digby and Soton, Newcourt, Topsham, Exton. Limpston Commando, Limpston Village, and Exmouth. I think we're only stopping... Yeah, we're at Exeter St David's, Exeter Central now, so we're going straight to Paulslow Bridge. This being an Albie scenario, there may be the odd silly thing in it, which I've maybe just remembered. Um, I hope there isn't, but there might be. He will, and I'm pretty sure he has also played with the um, track bumpiness setting to make this more like a pacer. So it may be a little bit bumpy. I can't believe I'm actually doing a video of one of these. Any of you guys that have watched the stream will know that uh, Super Abs has done some absolutely ridiculous scenarios for me in the past. Like ones that would never be, that would just be banned from YouTube really. But anyway, I've done this scenario once and remembered it to be a lovely little run. So I thought we could do it again. Not that I enjoyed driving this at all. You guys all know, I know pace and serve a purpose, but I'm nowhere. Uh, not a massive pacer fan. And I know it's sort of cool to dislike pacers, but no, I, I do just genuinely dislike them. I think so do a lot of people. I don't think there's a, a coolness factor of it. This is in the GWR livery, which is a Super Elves reskin as well. So yeah, remember it's not dodgy track work on this scenario, it's uh, how we set it to bounce around ridiculously. We don't get very far, so it doesn't tend to bounce much more than this. It's a decent cab though. For a DTG model. Decent enough, the instrument board is bad. What if we don't actually have instrument lights? 
headlights. Is there anything down here? Panel lights. There we go. Axworth Junction. Open all windows, not that I particularly want to hear this from outside too much. So again, this is another one of those lines that I just want to do after driving on train sim. Because I would have never really known, knew it existed. He's a phenomenal reskinner, but you can't polish a turd, can you? You really can't. Oh, I should probably should have moved up the platform a little bit here. Keep forgetting I've got four cars. So how many of you guys have actually been on this route, or is there any of you guys that use this route regularly? I'd love to hear about it, let us know in the comments. Um, I'd like to hear what you think about how accurate it is as well. Digby and Soton next. And if I remember rightly, this is the bit where I noticed it being bumpy the most. Let's have the fan on since we can't get, even get the window open. <laughs> it's like it's not my old van. I should lift that up and there'd be an engine sitting under there. I wonder what it is actually. I don't even know what is under there in real life, to be fair. Bounces around like a basin. Super elevation, we're all right. So yeah, just remember this isn't actually the track that's like this. It's a setting in the scenario editor that you can you can edit the track bumpiness. So if you ran this on your just a quick drive or whatever, it'd be silky smooth. I thought that station was closer than it was. I 
So yeah, Devon Rails. Devon Rails is a lovely route. Again, I'm going to do a full... Uh, as, uh, as much of the route as I can cover in a couple of videos, really. Digby and Soton. Let's see what screenshot I prefer. Newcourt. While we're in between this, just want to check something. Yes. Okay, there's something in Exmouth that I'm not showing on my channel that Albie's made. Uh, so I'll be coming into Exmouth probably in this view. Those of you that have watched my stream will know what asset that will be. And if I really thought about it, remembered it, I'd have pulled it out before I did the scenario. I'll try and get to grips with the braking of this thing as well, and try and make it so I can just sort of jab into the stations a bit faster. Seem relatively responsive. Ooh. Next station is Topsham, you will need to tab past the signal on entry. I think I must have pulled away from the last station still with a bit of break on. It definitely wasn't this nippy, was it? You guys are, will have already noticed that, if I have done. So I've already basically been given permission to pass the uh, signal after this danger. So I'm not going to treat it like a red. Yeah, 
it's true. If you look at it from the outside, it does wobble like a real face of wobbles. If, if not a little ex excessive. Cows and sheep. Sheep and cows. tap this one so we know we can clear it. So it's not as bad. minute behind schedule already. Which is no biggie if you know me. It's very rare you'll get me driving a pacer really. I someone said something quite positive about me the other day. How many uh think of it more as an adventure because how many <laughs> four-wheeled coaches to get to travel on in this day and age. Which is true. Not the way it says lead acid batteries fitted. Not sure what other type of batteries they'd use really. Gel batteries. Was it AGM? AGM, I think, was some, something glass mat. If I remember rightly. level crossings again. No. Isn't that pretty? Isn't it pretty? And here are we now going drive at line speed. Too taken in by the scenery. It definitely is one of those crossings, isn't it? Should have been over that ten, shouldn't I? Another one as well. I don't know, should I? Should I have got over those at 10 mile an hour? They don't look the same as the other ones. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Let's look at around there. It's a little bit sparse out that way, I won't lie, but...
been thrown around a little bit in there. doing this in our own uh, evening or a morning with better lighting would just make this bit look a little bit better. When it is there, it's the draw distance when you go over an estuary like that. That makes it a bit of a pain. been grossly underestimating the length of this train basically since the beginning no 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 we're all right take a look at my bus stops they're the only ones I get there was actually a song on YouTube like that I think I've mentioned it before I haven't found it recently, to be fair. I've not subscribed to his channel, and now it seems to have gone. He's done a few sort of railway related parodies, which are quite light. Next station is Exmouth, where this train terminates. Pretty sure he gives me the guard's buzzer before the doors are closed. Right, Exmouth, as I said, because of a, a dodgy asset in front of us, I'll be going in to Exmouth itself backwards. I'm actually a bit paranoid about how <laughs> whether you guys are going to see this or not. I'll probably spot what it is before you will, but uh, put it this way, I'm not showing it. It's nothing rude, it's just generally offensive. So you're not going to see it. Again, it's a very pretty bit of the route. 
that's going to be spoiled by me being paranoid. song. I forgot about that bit. So this is actually how we puts this in this. I forgot all about that, if I'm honest. So I do apologise about the song at the end, this is just uh, an insight into Albie's brain and I'm going to try not to fall right into the platform either. Justin is all I want to be. Okay, well that's a very strange... Uh, scenario and a little insight into Super Abs' head. Thank you very much for joining me once again. And even with the little song at the end there is, is great. So once again guys, thanks ever so much for joining me and catch us again soon.